Oh, what's the Karen? Hey, some good timing. Look at that. It's a flying banana. Mike and me are going to Tramps. Finally, the wind's okay. We're going to go down there and we'll see if we can hit some hounds for the start of the year. See, the thing with uh, going fishing for hounds is you have to wear your Jaws t-shirt. That's traditional, especially the first time of the year. And I've also got my Deadpool pants. Yes. So, Mike, it's nice and warm today, nice and bright. It's rather warm. Look at that wind, what we can hear, and we can see it moving around. Now, that's nice strong west. It's 15 gusting to mid 20s. That's going to be, be flat down there. It's reasonably flat. Because. There's a bit of surf. Because yeah, it's coming off the land. It's coming off the land, and we've got nice big cliffs. That's why we've gone here, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, no flies on us. There is some residual surf. It's been easterlies for weeks, isn't it? Which is why we haven't been out. What are you talking about surf? There's about two inches of shore dump. That's not even a shore dump. It's not even a ripple. So this is your surf, yeah? That's your idea of surf. It's such a knob. I've got my RTM tempo. I've got my anchor trolley running on both sides. Here's my McMahon large SMB reel. My one kilo Bruce anchor, that's running two and a half knots out there at least. We're on a spring. So, sort of six ounce breakaway leads. Squid, whole squid is going on. I've got my paddle, my Lendl Nord caps. Down here, small multiplier, two oak panel. Zip slider. These are my Fladden solid carbon rods, they're the 2040s. So plenty of power, so you can set the hook. Come back down, that's the terminal end of the anchor trolley. Anyway, in here, a few spare leads and a couple of packs of squid, unwashed squid. And that is how the cookie crumbles. That looks easy, doesn't it? Anchors away! That's running a bit and we've been held off by the wind as well, so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a thing. Well, it's actually quite snotty out here. It's uh, blustery with the wind. I switched a bit more southerly. I don't want to lose my hat. Um, the tide's running. Fish, and we're going for fairly large fish. So we've got to keep our wits about us today. So I'm just having first bite on my hand. See that? There we go. There's something on there. Oh, first up is a dogfish. It's going crackers. Hey, come on, baby. It's a female, I think. Yeah, female doggy. So I give it a kiss before we release. Mm -hmm. ah, she always got to do that for luck. Well, this is substandard, definitely substandard. It's supposed to be a nine mile an hour offshore. It's double that plus out of view. Um, been out here an hour with the tide absolutely ripping through. And I've had two doggies, and I think Mike's had one. I'm getting another bite here. Most things aren't connecting. That's proper bite, so 
I think I'll reel it in. Here we go. The first one. Nice, beautiful, starry smooth hound. First one of the season. Look at that, aren't they just gorgeous? Look at that, Look at that lovely eye. That is what I call a stunning little fish. Beautiful. Now, it could be, hopefully, that they're now coming on because so far I've had five dogs. Uh, time to up anchor and go home. Grand total for me of ten dog fish, one smooth hand. Not massive smooth hand, about a couple of pound, three pound maybe. So, uh, yeah, no keepers for me today, but that's alright, not too bad. So I've been sitting here, right? Just got the anchor straight down, been sitting here for about ten minutes. He's finally starting to pull his anchor in. Over there, look, there he is, there's Mike. I don't know what he's doing. He's flapped around with both his rods. You're such a knob, Mike. I'm talking about that. For those of you thinking that he's waist deep, he's actually on his knees. 